hello everyone welcome back to my channel service no universe hope you all are doing well today in this session we'll discuss about models and pop-ups in portal okay first we'll uh, see uh, using the dollar uib model of angular js and next we'll see how we can uh, show the models or pop-ups using sp model of service no itself okay okay now let's create a new widget uh, here let me go to service portal widgets i'll create a new widget Okay, that is test pop-up. Okay, and I'll save this. Okay, uh, now uh, to use UIB model, I must create uh, the Angular ng template here. Okay, that we will uh, call in the UIB model. Okay, so now let me just create one Angular ng template. I'll give some name here, test. Uh, pop up template pop up template okay for now i'll show only some message here test pop up okay i'll submit this okay now let me open this widget in editor we have the widget we have one uh, angular ng template here Okay, now I'll close this. Let's use this widget editor. Okay, now uh, that template can be accessible here. Okay, the same template which we created there uh, in the native UI can be accessible here in the widget editor UI as well. Okay, okay now let's create one page. Uh, let's go to pages, uh, service portal, page, to create a new one, test pop-up page okay i'll save this and open the page in designer and i'll add the container and i'll add test pop-up page sorry widget to it okay and now i'll just go here and click on try it so currently our uh, page is blank okay now i'll close this and i'll close the page designer as well okay now to use uib model uh, in uh, here so what i have to do is i have to add that uh, provider here in this uh, controller function that is dollar uib and model okay now the function is dollar uib model dot open okay and inside this this function x uh, expects the object here Okay. and the first uh, thing what it expects is template url okay and we have already created the template url okay and the template name is this test uh, pop up template okay so that i have to pass here test pop up template okay now we need to uh, pass the scope in which scope we are opening this okay we are opening this in dollar scope dollar scope okay now as we have added this dollar scope here i need to add that also in the uh, function as a parameter here okay now let's just save this and let's try to refresh our page let's see what will happen i'll refresh the page you see uh, the pop-up is visible here okay now uh, now if i click on side here okay let me just refresh it if i click uh, somewhere outside the pop-up then that pop-up is uh, getting closed automatically right so if you if you don't want that then what we can do is we can add a uh, back backdrop okay and that is static static okay and let me just refresh this again Okay, now it is visible and I'm closing outside, but it is not getting dismissed. Okay, the uh, pop-up is not getting closed. Okay. Okay, now let's add some code to the pop-up, uh, to the Angular ng template to make this uh, pop-up look good. So I'll just remove this and I'll add this. Okay. Here we have used uh, some uh, classes model error, model title, model body, model footer. Okay, and in the footer we have used one button uh, to close the model. Now let's see how to implement this. Okay now i'll just click on save 
let me open this close HTML and I'll refresh this okay now uh, we have a nice structured model here okay we have the cancel button but nothing is happening here okay so uh, we have written the can cancel function here now what I'll do is uh, I'll write that cancel function here let's see what will happen okay function will simply add some alert here okay and I'll just click on save let's see will this work or not okay okay let me refresh the page and let's see if this works okay I'm clicking on cancel but nothing is happening okay now let me just go and update the code uh, instead of using C I'll use scope let's see what will happen okay and when I'm using scope here so I don't need to give C here so I'll just remove C dot okay okay now let me go back to the page again and refresh it and let's see if anything is happening okay so nothing is happening here okay now it's because uh, this function is outside the scope of the model okay now we need to add this function inside uh, the scope of this model okay so what I had to do is I had to write a separate controller for the model okay here and like we have a controller for our widget same way we have to add one controller for the model and that model uh, that controller expects a function okay and in that function uh, we have to write this code okay now as we are writing a dollar scope here so we have to pass the scope here okay now let's see it. will this work or not let me refresh the page again and now I click on it cancel uh, this is showing me the alert okay now what I'll do is I'll remove the alert uh, now there is a function called dollar uh, UIB model instance dot dismiss dot dismiss is the function now as we are using this dollar UIB model instance we have to pass that again to uh, the controller function of the model okay so now I'll save this okay now I will refresh okay. if I click on this now model instance is getting sorry model is getting cancelled using model instance dot dismiss function okay so this is how we can implement the uh, model using UIB uh, model Okay. now we are opening the pop-up directly on page load right so if I want to open that on click of any button then what I'll do is I'll simply add a button here button I'll add some class for example btn btn primary this is a boot, bootstrap class okay and uh, I'll simply add a show pop-up pop-up and in this I'll add ng click show pop-up function okay mm, okay I'll add it here and in this I'll write dollar scope dot show pop-up is equal to function okay now the model which we are opening I'll just get it and put it in that function Here I need to get this. Okay. Now let me just save it. Okay. I'll refresh the page again. Now we should see a button here. Okay. Okay. This button is hidden here. So let me add some style uh, to the button. Style. I'll add margin top. Top as 200 pixels. Let me just save it and uh, refresh it once. Okay. Now, when I click on the button, the model gets open. When I click on cancel button, it gets closed. Okay. So this is how we can implement uh, the pop-up using the uh, uh, UIB model. Okay. Of Angular JS. Now we can do the same thing using SP model as well of service now. Okay. Let's go to SP model documentation here. The first function is alert. We can use alert uh, as a pop-up. Okay, now how we can use that we have this so 
let me just copy this and i'll just comment out this uib model now okay i'll add the pop up here now as we are using sp model we need to pass that sp model here uh, to the controller function okay now i'll go here and refresh the page okay now when i click on this uh, we see uh, this alert here okay now we have got this uh, close button as well with this okay now when we click on okay uh, the window closes because this is just alert right but uh, if we want to do anything after uh, we click on okay then that can be uh, done using then function okay now here let's add dot then okay so what uh, what is then function is doing uh, after we click on okay what should happen okay so i'll simply alert the answer let's see what answer we'll get okay let me click on show pop up okay and that is true okay so uh, here we can uh, basically we can use it for uh, redirecting to any other page we can ask the uh, question here uh, we are redirecting we can we can tell the information when they click on it uh, okay then we can redirect to some other page okay. now same way we have confirm function as well uh, here we can get the confirmation so uh, like we will be getting two uh, buttons here like javascript confirm function same way we have this so let me just refresh it okay let me click on show up pop up okay it, it gives us two buttons now okay we have cancel uh, here as well that that closes the model and uh, we have a uh, cancel button as well that also closes the model but when we click on okay it gives us the uh, answer as true okay then we can proceed further okay uh, like uh, we get uh, the answer for uh, javascript confirm function as well okay okay the next function is open function okay here we have the syntax for this open so let me just copy this and uh, put it in our uh, widget okay now i'll just click on save okay now we have given an input uh, input box here and we have uh, receiving that here so let me just refresh this okay now when i show the pop-up it gives me one input box here okay and i can again cancel the pop-up uh, using these two button cross and cancel function when i click on okay uh, you see click is disabled now when i type something here that time click is enabled okay now when i click on that uh, the value of that will be stored in this uh, that will be in c dot name i can use uh, that as here alert dot alert c dot name So if you want to do any uh, logic based on this, then we can do uh, uh, based on some input value, then we can do like this. Okay, click on show pop-up and some value. When I click on that, that value we have in c.name variable. Okay, based on that c.name variable value, we can uh, do our processing here in the then function. Okay, now this is how we can use this. And we have one more way uh, to use spmodel.open. So let's just see that okay now let's uh, add it here okay now let me open this okay message is h plus m so i think uh, it is defined here so let me add that as well Now let me save it again. Okay, now let me refresh the page. Click on show pop up. Now it is showing us uh, the information here. Okay, and uh, we have no and yes uh, buttons. Okay, 
so those buttons are added here we can change the uh, name of those buttons okay i want uh, okay and cancel instead of no and uh, yes and no i want okay and cancel so that can be possible here now let me refresh it okay now this is changed to okay and cancel so we can give any other name as well okay now when we click on okay that time it triggers this function the first function okay when i click on uh cancel it triggers this function so let's just say alert no you can say cancel clicked clicked and here and top i'll try okay clicked okay i'll just save it Okay, let me refresh this page now. Okay, so if I click on OK, you see OK is clicked. And now if I click on cancel, you can see cancel is clicked. Okay, based on the uh, these buttons click, we can perform our action. Okay, so this is how we can use spmodel.open. There are many options here. Okay, now uh, we can use the spmodel.open in other way as well. Okay, let me just click on this. Okay, and I'll add that here. Okay, I'll just remove this as well. Okay. Now, inside the model, we can show some other widget as well. Okay, for example, let me go to a cool clock widget. Widgets. Open the widgets list i think we have some cool clock widget yeah this one so i'll just copy the uh, id of that and i can put the id here okay and display i think it is expecting this so i don't want that okay displaying cool clock widget i'll say cool clock widget or this displaying cool clock Okay, now we can give the inputs as well to the widget. Okay, currently will not go any, so it will take uh, this empty. Okay, so uh, let me just remove this for now. Uh, let's give it empty. Okay, I'll save this. Okay, and I'll refresh this now. I'll click on show pop up. Now it is displaying me uh, the cool clock here. Okay, uh, this this is a separate widget. Okay, now if you want any, uh, uh, if we can create our own custom widget and we can give uh, the ID of that widget here, the pop-up will display that widget. Okay, and we can pass some input objects as well. Uh, sorry, inputs to that as well. Uh, so let me just open this cool clock, or else let me just see. Can do anything here? No. So here, uh, it has got some uh, option schema. So we can pass the options as well. Okay, like uh, we can pass the time zone. Okay, time zone is uh, Los Angeles currently. So we can pass the different time zone and a different uh, color. Here, it is displaying the red color. Second bar is uh, second hand is the red color. So we can uh, show some other color as well. So those inputs we can pass from. Uh, those inputs we can pass from the widget okay so you can see my first video on service portal so uh, uh has shown uh, how to pass the uh, options options to the widget okay in that so this is how we can use spmodel.open okay now we have different functions here spmodel.prompt some other functions are there okay so now this is how uh, this is useful there are many options here using sp model so we can go with sp model there are different lot of options here Okay, so no, this is how we can uh, show the pop-ups using UIB model and SP model. So if you like this video, then please hit the thumb icon and please share this video with uh, your friends and uh, and please subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Thank you.